Hi everyone, this is Alexander Ansipov and in this video I am going to show how to add profile functionality into your mobile application. So first let's create new IONIQ for application with name profile app. And by our tradition first let's import API plugin profile, change default routing from screen 1 to profile and test. Despite that API has very good preview, I suggest you to use instead of that preview of, for example, Google Chrome browser. Because here, first of all, we can change the type of our mobile phone and also the look and feel is more close to real mobile device. What we can do on the screen? So first of all, of course, we can read information about user. Also, we can enable edit mode and change for example first last name address one address two also can change city change the state like this provide zip code please pay attention that verification is enabled automatically also we can change country change email and uh, verification also works here and we can change the phone number so pay attention that phone number has a predefined format and when we type the numbers application applies particular phone number format. Then we can save our changes or for example we can press cancel and all our changes will be removed. Now let's take a look how this application work. So here we see uh, two services get profile service and pay attention that uh, here echo mode is enabled and it means that uh, this service always return some predefined data and of course in your application you will have to provide your own URL address and other parameters and the second service is uh, update profile service which also returns some predefined response plugin also has profile screen the UI is pretty simple. So here you can see it is used profile form and uh, all input components are inserted into this profile form. We have uh, three buttons. So the first button is added and the code of this button you can see in our event panel. The same for save button and for cancel button. On the code tab you can see variable which are used in this application and one function. I'm not going to explain every uh, line of the code of this plugin uh, because in general the logic is very very easy and if you need to add such functionality into your application my suggestion is removing or adding new properties and that's it. That is all what I wanted to show in this video. Thanks for watching.